Hello and welcome to QQ Catalyst. In this video we will be giving a general overview of the carrier downloads area in Catalyst where you would go to view and process any transactions that you have received. Now the first screen that we see whenever we log into the system I have displayed right now this is the dashboard for QQ Catalyst. Once you have your system set up to receive carrier downloads and you've contacted all of your carriers to advise them they can start sending over those download transactions, we'll find those transactions coming into our system under the more option from the global navigation toolbar we can click on the download section so here we are in the carrier download section you'll notice there's a couple options up at the top in the dark gray toolbar the downloads button will allow us to process downloads manually now if you have scheduled downloads enabled at a specific time every day which you can usually see listed in the recent activity as well I have my scheduled downloads enabled to occur at 1 a.m. every morning then I would not need to initiate the download process manually it's already set up to happen every day at a specific time however if I do need to initiate a download process I do have the option from the toolbar to click on the download button and indicate which of my agency office locations I'm trying to receive the download transactions for when I tell it OK, it's going to search my Ivan's mailbox to see if there's any download transactions that it can bring into Catalyst. Also, from the toolbar, you have the option to reprocess all of the downloads that are in your need matching section. These are download transactions that came into your system, and for one reason or another, we were not able to find a perfect match to customer or policy information already entered into Catalyst, or we found more than one possible match and didn't want to create a duplicate without your manual input. So these items have been left in the need matching section. If I've made some changes to the system that should allow some of these to match up on their own now, then I can go ahead and click reprocess to begin the matching process all over again. I can indicate which office location we're trying to rematch for or if we're trying to reprocess the direct bill commission downloads which we'll take a look at in a moment as well. You also have the ability to print a report from the toolbar up top. The last item in the toolbar is to remove the completed items. You'll notice here that we have 79 transactions that have completed successfully. There's 170 in my need matching section and I have zero print only and zero that have failed. Of these categories, the tabs down here will correspond to them. So I can see here the 79 transactions in my completed section. And if I want to view the customer or policy information that was downloaded successfully, I can click right on the customer's name. I'm just going to tell this to open in a new tab. And it will direct me to that customer's contact page in the system. I can do the same thing with the policy. If I click on the policy number or the effective date, it'll redirect me to this specific policy under that specific customer in our system. So I can review the information that's downloaded. I can make sure my commission information is populating correctly for my agency or my producers. And if I'm satisfied that everything looks good in the completed section, you do have the option to remove these transactions either one at a time by clicking on remove or I can click the remove completed from the toolbar and I can specify a date range up to which I would like to remove all transactions and I can choose which office location that's for. Now one thing to keep in mind you do not need to remove transactions Catalyst will keep a running list of your transactions here it'll just continue to add additional pages if need be one reason to save your completed transactions is the ability to roll back a transaction if it was processed incorrectly. So if Perry Jones here was incorrectly processed, maybe we matched him to the wrong customer, the wrong policy, I can click here to roll back the transaction. Catalyst will give me a warning letting me know that this will not automatically undo any changes made to the contact or to the policy. So if there was a change made, I would need to go into that contact or policy and manually void or undo that change before I roll back this transaction so I can go ahead and try and process it again. Then I can click yes, the transaction will be removed from the completed section and it will move back into the need matching section. So Perry Jones would be somewhere here in our need matching items again. Before they were 170, now they're 171. Now your need matching items 
are going to be the transactions, as I mentioned, that were not able to process. So these came into the system and they either could not find an exact match based on the matching criteria, or they found more than one possible match. When a download transaction comes in from the carrier, the system will try to match it to your existing customers and policies based on a hierarchy of criteria. The very first item the system looks for is the NAIC code assigned to the matching carrier. Once it can find the matching NAIC code, it's going to look for the matching customer based on the name, the address, and the phone number. If it finds a perfect match for name, address, and phone number on the customer, then it will look for matching policy information under that customer, which it will base on things like policy number, effective date, line of business. If it can find a perfect match for the carrier, the customer, and the policy based on that criteria, it will go ahead and complete the process on its own as long as your import mode is set to either semi-automatic or automatic. The import mode we recommend the most is semi-automatic and we cover the import modes in a bit more detail in the intro class.